Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of the voice actors are represented here. I mean, John DiMaggio, who plays Marcus, is here. Claudia Black, who's Sam in Gears, as well as Chloe in Uncharted. Nolan North, who's in every single video game, No Demand, is here. And it's one of those things that, you know, Carlos, I mean, he, if, he, if he could show up, he would, right? He goes to all these events, but I'm extraordinarily proud of the performance he turned in, and judging by the reading, uh, reading of the YouTube comments on that death scene, it clearly has had a significant impact. So I'm just hoping in the future we keep celebrating the talent. Any thoughts on Eurogamer after they also gave Uncharted 3 an 8 out of 10 score? Now that became a really weird controversy, whereas I was at a press junket and I made a joke about Eurogamer giving Gears an 8, and my feeling was that Gears 3 is clearly better than Gears 2, and the fact that they gave Gears 2 a 9, and then Gears 3 an 8. But you know what? Uh, journalists are journalists. They're more than entitled to review the game as long as they're honest and they say from their gut, what can you do? It is what it is. And uh, is Fortnite, is this going to be a console disc game, or is it going to be a DLC? Uh, we haven't announced what it's going to be yet. We're still figuring that out. It was a project that was pitched internally several months ago that came together lightning fast. It's something that seems like a no-brainer to build, and uh, we're still figuring out what to do with the lightning we have in a bottle. What's the future for Ge the Gears franchise? Is it just going to take a rest for a while, or would you guys like to make another one? We have Rom's Shadow, which is the DLC dropping up on December 13th, which is a really meaty, solid campaign, a good three and a half hours. And, uh, you know, the future, who knows? I mean, we could be faced with console transition at some point, and uh, we would certainly love to make more uh, experiences in the Gears universe. If we get around to it, I, I want to make sure we switch it up sufficiently so it still feels like Gears DNA, but it feels fresh and new. Gears of War, the movie? And it's still in a, in a little bit of a movie development limbo right now, but uh, hopefully uh, with the success of 3, we'll see it kind of uh, poke back up. Okay. So, so you guys uh, showed up tonight. Uh, we're going to have a Gears fan, but uh, when are we going to see a new... Uh, if you, if you, I'll tell you right now, if you could magically double Epic's team temporarily and just build another game like that, I'd love to do it. I mean, I've had all sorts of crazy ideas. Like, I think it'd be amazing to reboot the original Unreal with kind of a Fallout Skyrim vibe. It's more about exploration than it is about action and more RPG elements. But we're a slave to our success with games like Gears and Infinity Blade, and thankfully we're able to craft another IP with something like Fortnite now. That's still, it's, it's, it hasn't even been cast yet. I like voice actors, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys, you're pretty active on uh, your social networks. It seems like you're pretty close to like uh, Yeah, yeah. And I remember I was talking to him about it. Uh, there was a lot of rumors flying around that uh, possibly one of the Gears characters was going to kind of make it way in. Yeah, we had talked about it before they shipped, but ultimately it proved that it wasn't going to happen. And so we had talked about it for DLC, but honestly, we just haven't picked up that email chain. And I mean, I grew up in Mortal Kombat, I absolutely love it. And I'm in a position where so many of the talented people I grew up with, as far as Ice-T and Ed and, and all of these amazing video game designers are now my peers, which is just straight up weird. Uh, what, what kind of fatalities do you have? What would you say would be your favorite? I'd love to see uh, Clayton Carmine. Yeah, with the voice, because he just his character with the giant bulge of muscles and the squeaky voice is such a great contrast. Uh, what, what would you say is the Italian would be like? Oh, he'd, he'd do the curb stomp, right? Uh, he would do the uh, the face punch until the head explodes. I mean, all, we have execution, so they translate naturally, right? Now that uh, Gears, uh, excuse me, Mass Effect has ported to the PS3, could Gears of War, could we ever see the, the, the franchise ever ported to PS3? It's technically capable, but we have a good deal with Microsoft, so that's the home of gear for the foreseeable future. What if Sony gave you a better deal? I mean, uh, business, business is business, man! <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? We can speculate about anything, you know? Like, what if, uh, you know, uh, uh, streaming online services decided they wanted to make a great deal with us, then Gears would be a streaming game, and as of right now, Microsoft's been an amazing partner for us. Okay, so nothing in the pipeline for a Gears Sony port? No, not okay. anytime soon. I, I hear, uh, from here, Yes. Poofs! <laughs> I thought it was Boosh for a while. That's my favorite thing in that game, is to walk up to just a beautiful dinner setup with all of these cheeses and wines and plates and just be like, Boosh! And just set it all flying. It's like, that's what I think of your dinner. How do you like that? And that's my game, uh, my, probably my favorite game in, I'd say, the last five to ten years. Bioshock. Yeah, I think it's going to be amazing. And if I'm missing that trailer right now, I'm going to kill all of you. Okay, good. Cool. Just Blizzard. Okay. Cool. Anything else, guys? Uh, Skyrim, Skyrim, Skyrim. That's my favorite game since the original Zelda. 
I don't know, I, I, I can't find that, where it actually says that, and I haven't been counting myself, but I'm level 30, Nord, uh, Tank Mage, one-handed, and then uh, spells, and I'm starting to get into more into Conjuration, so. But it's just, uh, so good. Oh well, no, we don't share shit. Yeah. No, it's yeah. lame. No, we have a, I have my main set up and she has a, her little portable games suitcase next yeah, to me and we just jam. I'm like, you're a fucking werewolf now? What the hell? <laughs> she, she has, she's a little bit further ahead of me, but right now this is quite frankly cutting into my Skyrim time. Oh. Can you confirm what platform Fortnite's going to be on? We cannot right now. We're still figuring that out. Great. Congrats Thanks. on 20 years of Epic Games. Yeah. Thank you. Here to another 20. I'm going to go have grilled cheese and beer. <laughs> Thanks.